Okay. I'm gonna start with this one just because... Dodge the first attack and yeah. run off to the right. Is that right? Is in your right as you look from the hotel? Oh, um, which hand do I hold my knife in again? Oh, right! It was my right hand, right? Satisfied, Mr. Wright? Please continue. Okay. I mean, honestly, let's just go with the clock. Yeah, the clock. Uh, clock. Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, well don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now. Okay. Okay. So, so I guess do we you just, just present, present the clock? Miss May, what you just said now is quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I'd Naughty. like that. I'd like that a lot. Naughty Mr. Lawyer. You just said that this statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Uh. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this clock this a clock too. And he was found guilty of murder. Order! Order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this is a clock? Oh, uh, uh. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes! Yes, of course! You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once, but... Uh, fine. Objections abstain. You may continue to question the witness. Whew, that was close. If he stopped me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? Th that's... Because I heard it? Yes! I heard it say the time. So, you've been to the law offices of Fan Co? N n no Hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. <laughs> law offices of Fan Co, where the murder took place, is very close to the hotel. You could easily have heard the clock. Huh. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No, Your Honor. Yeah, we're... I can't give up now. Weren't the batteries taken out of it? No, the whole in, the yeah, whole the thing. whole insides. She couldn't have heard it. Yep. You were at the hotel. There's no way you could have heard a clock go off in the building next door. No, it's because the internals. You have proof that she could not. Uh, yes. Amateurs, amateurs, listen to me, Mr. Wright. In the courtroom, proof is everything. Without it, you are nothing. You are nothing. Then I'd like to propose a test to see if she really could have heard. Prosecution denies your request. What? On what grounds? This is a trivial matter with no direct bearing on the case at hand. Indeed, objection sustained. Damn, time to switch directions quick. Better proceed, Mr. Wright. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... It couldn't have rung. Yeah, it couldn't have rung. Sorry, I was like, you couldn't have heard it. She couldn't have heard it because... No, 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 it, it nothing, wouldn't but, fit. Uh, it's really it's couldn't have run. It's dialogue. I don't know, anyway. Your Honor, members of the court. It's inconceivable that the clock in question rang. It's empty. That clock is missing its clockwork. How could you possibly... Just take a look right now. Huh. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It's as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Mr. Rice, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It says you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. F -f fat Well, Miss May?
Uh, quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there's no contradiction. But we have the phone I know. recording. Ah! Huh. Ah, huh. that's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? <laughs> Impossible, of course. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. I like proof, yes, but not when it's against me. The, the evidence message. that proves when the clockwork was removed is... Bammo. Take a look at this. Ah, that's a very cute cell phone. It matches mine. <laughs> uh -huh. You have a girly phone. <laughs> wait, wait, this isn't my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order! Order! The defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. <laughs> Good detective, better remember he's up for evaluation soon. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm beginning to feel bad for the big fella. Well, let's hear the conversation. Eep. So, you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? That's Maya. Or Maya. Oh, sorry. Yep, yep. It was green beforehand. I know. So, you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could. Ah, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Work clockwork out. Sorry. September fifth, nine twenty-seven a.m. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear that the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded, which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. <laughs> well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? <laughs> well, well, uh, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> Wink. The witness has seen it before. That would make sense. But it's a custom-made clock. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes. Yes. It was a custom-made clock. The witness claims she had seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please tell me, I'm forgetting everything. I've got about five minutes before everything's out of my mind. Please produce this evidence that will pr prove the witness had not seen the clock before. It's simple. This clock was never in any store ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. I impossible! Everything is sold in stores! Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. <sighs> oh, excuse is not on sale today. Man, that's a burn. Is the heart ah! flipping ah! upside down? Ah! Her boobs are <laughs> What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it. And she should die for it. Die! Go back to your previous way! Oh god, I can't handle this! <laughs> Whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Oh, silly me. <laughs> Did I, um, like, lose it? I guess 
I did. <laughs> Wink. Scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? <sighs> she is poking out. Huh. Oh, dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... I'm going to save before I start making mistakes. Well, you could say that maybe she held it. it because... No, no, she heard about it. Remember the wiretap? Oh, heard about it from the wiretap. That's mm -hmm. true, that's true. Because it's it was a guy that killed her, but we that's other outside information. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard about or heard that it was a clock. She heard? Unfortunately, this might go into the hole. She knew about the clock from the previous mm -hmm. case, and then that's going to be... Maybe. That's correct, Your Honor. There's no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. The wiretap. Have a look at this. Uh, oh. <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim. Miss Mia May's phone, were you not? Uh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous, does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can, it's simple. What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... Just use the phone again? Yeah. It really is just that. I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. Miss April May. You used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I, I. Your honor, this is ridiculous. Your honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. La, la. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Uh, Miss May! Shut up! All of you! What gives you the right to talk to me that way? You, you lawyer! Hmm. Well, that kills my buzz. I'm a judge, not a lawyer. <laughs> it's not fair! Why are you ganging up on me like that? Oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? I. <laughs> That did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? <sighs> Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity tapping the uh, irrelevant? Yeah, <sighs> she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May. You were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. While this, while this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an ex explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with the murder, even though you tapped her phone? Ha! I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking, 
I'd like to see her pull that off, wouldn't you? Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course, I can and I will. You can't be serious, no way. Way? I say, way! Oh, and I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay, so, the killing happened around nine at night. Why? That's when I was just getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Ice coffee? I believe it was. Ice coffee, you know? Like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts. And then you have regular old cold coffee. Ice coffee? Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Wink. There go. The witness was not on the scene. On the scene at the time of the murder. Ah! Where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's cell phone. Or telephone. But. The bellboy would know about Mr. White. Yes. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Fay, commit murder. No, they're going to just let her walk away. There's no way I can win unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Oh, uh, well, come on, think of something. Yeah, call the bellboy's witness. Because he would know about Mr. White. I think it's Miss May. I don't... I... The bellboy was the one that told okay, you fine. Mr. White. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunken quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. Ah. However... If you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Oh, condition, no. Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy. Then you'll recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, that she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty from Miss Maya May. That is my condition. Wait, what? A, wait a minute. But what if they find out someone else is the guilty party during the examination of the bellboy? Correct. They, they can't just default to it being no. Maya. I better find something suspicion that, suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Accept the condition. Just sure. have to. All right. I got nothing to lose. Except for well everything. Understood. I accept your condition. Huh. Fool. He fell right into my trap. Uh-oh. Uh, is, uh, is this suddenly a, a Yu-Gi-Oh well. card battle? It's, it's sure. I mean, Edgeworth. You fell right into my Ed, trap. Both Phoenix. Well, no, Edgeworth definitely looks he, like he, he looks could, like Pegasus he really more does. so. He's like Pegasus's Except like, Pegasus younger brother. Except Pegasus would be like, mm -hmm, yes, Suyuki, I can see right into your mind. Now take off those tight leather pants and let me see your shadow realm. <laughs> For goodness sake. <laughs> What's up with all the innuendos I, from you? I have had boobs wiggling at me for the last hour and a half. Two sets? <laughs> what? The court calls the hotel bo bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. <laughs> he even has the <laughs> Yes, the sir. Would anybody them. like any tea? I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I am happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. I am the lead bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call at eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. I brought... <laughs> <laughs> Eyes down here, sir. 
I brought it to her precisely, precisely at the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss Maya herself. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right, I'm ready, I hope. This is it. If I can, can't prove Miss May was involved in the murders now, Maya will be finished. I am the head- oh, right. Okay. What exactly is it that you do at the hotel? Why, anything required of me, sir. I check in on guests, I check out guests, I clean rooms, I make beds, I even deliver room service, sir. I check Miss May in personally. Are you always so prim? Mr. Wright. Oh, gate water, water gate. Yeah, exactly. People are bringing that There's up. a lot of references. It's, mm -hmm. it's, I, I don't actually know if, if that's a literal translation, but they might have taken liberties to make it uh, work for the U.S., I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, you will refrain from asking frivolous questions. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Are you sure who's Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. I can see those knockers over the phone. <laughs> How can you be so certain? They're substantial. Oh, I checked Miss May in personally. That's good. Yeah. Then. I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them, and I... Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> the point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? We saw them too. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. Nine on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine, the time of the murder. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. Precisely nine, then. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that we be brought then. Oh, bellboy, teehee, I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly nine. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of nine o'clock, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? Mm-hmm. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. You're sure is Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir, it's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, uh, the guest, sir, she favored me with, uh, um, an embrasser, sir. Embrasser? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. Well, not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe, perhaps, she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. Especially because it would be known as, you know, some... I've never been to the Grand Canyon before, but that day, I caught a glimpse. <laughs> Sounds fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. Huh. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is that it? Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, will you end this rather tedious cross-examination here? Huh. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Protest. Wait. Please wait. Yes! Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, 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 Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? <laughs> Bed making. Check in. Yeah, check in. Who did she check in with? No, 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 no. 
Room service. Or maybe? I guess check-in. Yeah, because he, he mentioned the check-in. Tell me about check-in. Tell me about when you checked in Miss May. Oh, all right. Very well, sir. I first thought that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, so it was a disappointment, really. A disappointment yep. that she came in with a man. I see. Well, Excuse me, what exactly was a disappointment? Well, I'm not without charm, sir, but even I'd have a little little chance with her lover there. Mm. Huh. What did he say? What did you say? Ah! Oh, uh, rather, quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? Dun, dun, dun. I object. That was objectionable. Ugh. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, yes, quite, indeed. It was the, uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... Mm. He asked me not to mention it if I was, wasn't was specifically asked, sir. Uh, God, you fool. I've done it. I've won. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct? Yes, sir. Then when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room. That's right, sir. Huh. Your Honor, we've just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple. It was... The man Miss, with, with Miss May. May. Yep. The man who checked in with Miss April May? Or Miss... A was it April? It, May? it was just Miss May. Yeah, Miss May. Sorry. I don't know why I thought April there. I guess it is April. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Your Honor. As has been previously revealed, Miss. Oh, yeah, it is April May. Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Well, yep. sometimes they just have it Miss May. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, then yeah. Miss April May. It's either way. Yet, Miss May herself was, has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of this other man from the court. <laughs> Upstart amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Enough! Court acknowledges the defense ar defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. <gasps> yes, Your Honor. So that's all t for uh, that's all today. That is all today for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. September seventh, two twenty four p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. God, I love this game. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you were amazing in there. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I think you're my only fan. But I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, the other attorney was pretty cool, too. Huh? That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips. It sent shivers up my spine. Huh. If you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Uh, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead no, in... No, but I got a great oh. lead in today's trial. That's a, you go. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her, 
I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. <laughs> she's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm gonna find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. As for a full re record of April May's testimony, I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken for, from the record. Yeah, dodged to the attack, right. Then to the right. But she was caught and struck. I don't know how much good this will do, uh, do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. To be continued. <laughs>